Hello, my name is Emma Einson and I'm the Bishop of Penrith in the UK and I have the honour and the privilege of being the central chaplain to the Worldwide Mothers' Union. And this is a very strange Easter for all of us, isn't it? Unusual and for some of us even fearful as the rapid spread of the COVID-19 virus has disrupted our patterns of living and has threatened our lives and our livelihoods. And in many places around the world, church worship can't continue in the way that we've become used to. Our church buildings are closed in many parts of the world as we try and halt the spread of the disease. But that doesn't mean that the church is closed, far from it. The church is not the buildings, of course, but the people, followers of Jesus Christ. And I've been so heartened to see the way in which the church has risen to the challenge of isolation and distancing and is finding new ways to worship, new ways to pray and to meet together virtually. A recent Mother's Union quiet day here in my own diocese was able to continue with many of the members tuning in to the talks via Facebook and then going off to pray in the quiet of their own homes. Another branch has given all its members candles to be lit at the same time each week as they say the same prayer. And I know that from meeting so many of you that Mother's Union members are resilient and resourceful and full of hope and compassion and all around the world you'll be responding to the crisis in your own way in your different contexts. But for many of us, these are uncertain times, and that's why I'm so glad that the next week is Holy Week, the time when we remember Jesus' last days on Good Friday, his death for the sins of the whole world on the cross, and then on Easter Sunday, his defeat of death and his rising from the grave. The cross of Christ must have seemed to those looking on to be a place of pain and fear. Yet we know that because of what happened three days later, as Jesus rose from the dead, it was in fact the place of our healing and our hope. Through the cross, we have reconciliation with our God and with each other. Barriers were broken down and new ways of relating were opened up. I love the way that even from the cross, Jesus commends his friend John to his mother, Mary, and Mary to John. And he tells them that now they are a new kind of family, they're to take care of each other. We're told that nothing can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, and that through his Holy Spirit, we're not separated from each other either. So in these days of having to be separated from each other physically, the cross reminds us that God in Christ has not remained distant, but has come very close to us. And that from his place of suffering, new kinds of relationships are born. So for those of you who are feeling isolated and alone, and for those of you who are supporting and caring for others at this time, May you know the strength and joy and hope and peace and fellowship that comes from belonging to this new family of followers of Jesus formed at the foot of the cross. So let's keep praying for each other and remembering those words from the prophet Isaiah, Isaiah 41, verse 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. In this unprecedented time of crisis and uncertainty, we as his church around the world and as Mother's Union members within that, we're united. We're brought together by God's Holy Spirit under the shadow of his cross and with the hope of resurrection. So may you have a blessed Easter.